here's how we do business. We purchase products from our vendors and we use those products to sell goods and services to our customers. All right. Now here's a list of purchase and vendor transactions I need you to record. All right. More work. JIT learning. Check out the quick guide at the back of your book. It's the only way I managed until you arrived. It's called JIT learning. Thank you. Will do, boss. Welcome to Chapter 5. Chapter 5 is all about vendors, purchases, and inventory. And like the previous chapters, all the main information for vendors can be found in the Vendor Center. So, click on Vendor Center on the top toolbar. This is the Vendor Center, set up like every other center you've seen so far. You have vendors on the left, their personal information on the top right, and below that, all the transactions you've entered into with them. To add a new vendor, click on New Vendor, Enter the vendor name, any address info you have on them, any additional info you might need, and any account prefills. When you're done, click OK. If you ever need to print the vendor information, click Print. You can also export to Excel. To edit information is just the same. Click Edit Vendor. When you're finished, click OK. And that's it for the Vendor Center. Click on Item and Services under the Company section. This will list all the items the Rock Castle sells and services they provide. If you want to add a new item, click Item at the bottom, New, select the type of the item, select the account name or number, description of the item, the rate of the item, the account it belongs to, and hit OK. Creating a purchase order. In the vendor section, click purchase order. Select the company. The information will fill in automatically. Choose your item. After you choose the item, you can see quantity. After you choose your quantity, the amount will fill in automatically. The total is at the bottom. Select a print or email. Save and close. To receive inventory, click Receive Inventory under the Vendor section. Click on the Receive with Bill option. Select the customer. And if the customer has an open purchase order, select which purchase order to use. Click OK. Verify that you have the inventory then click Save and Close. To enter bills against inventory, click on Enter Bills Against Inventory. Select the bills you wish to pay from the vendor that you choose. Once they're selected, click OK. To enter bills, click Enter Bills on the Vendor section on the home page. Select the vendor and input the amount due. Below, select the account the amount goes to, the amount will fill in automatically, and any other info you need. When you're done, click Save and Close. To pay bills, click Pay Bills under the Vendor section. Check the bills you wish to pay by clicking on them. Then click Pay Selected Bills. For paying sales tax, we're going to go to the vendor section under Manage pay Sales Tax. Click on Pay Sales Tax. Select the sales tax you wish to pay and hit OK. Click Report Center, Vendors and Payables. This will show all the reports that are important for the vendor information. Like the vendor balance detail, the 1099 summary, the 1099 detail, 
sale tax liability, and the vendor phone list. This concludes chapter 5. The next chapter will be chapter 6. I'm tired of these unreliable subcontractors. We're going to do it ourselves. We do a better job and we get it done on time. Are you sure about that? I told you replacing this Beneficio's hardware door would pay off. She just put in a new order for closet shelving. She said she wanted us to do it because we stand by our work. I think he was talking to you. Funny. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. Oh, what is this? Two unpaid bills. Hey, you. Hey, hey. What's going on? What do accountants suffer from that normal people don't? What? Depreciation. <laughs> Crack me up. Let's get to work. Oh, all right.